Hey Libra, welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. I hope that you guys are doing well. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. If at any time you resonate with this reading, go ahead and hit that like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. We're going to jump into it with my blessing and prayer. Any questions, information that you are seeking in regards to me is in the description box below. You can click on the link to my website. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it with my blessing and prayer, ooh, and see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you. You have Hermit here on the bottom with the Two of Wands. So maybe you've been in separation or isolation, just kind of keeping to yourself. You're secretly trying to make a decision or go the next route. Father God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel and receiving messages for Libra in regards to the current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher wisdom and higher knowledge into what soul lessons, karmic cycles, and generational curses they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, Libra, you have a lot going on right now. Like a lot is going on. And my cat keeps like running all over the place, but everything the Spirit is showing me I don't know if someone's like blowing something out of proportion or somebody's because it's either somebody is assassinating somebody's character and making either you seem way bigger than than it is or they seem way bigger than it is. But it's like it's getting out of proportion. There's something that's getting out of proportion here. Messages, please, for Libra. Or somebody has balloon head. Okay. Wait, why is spirit showing me this? Because I'm also seeing someone's head like just blow up like a balloon. Like maybe somebody's really, really full of themselves and they're just like, they're just not getting it. Somebody could be really ditzy and they're just not getting what you're trying to say. Like it's going over somebody's head. Thief. Wow. And then you have poverty. So you could be dealing with somebody who stole something from you. Okay, there could be somebody here um, that's dealing with a court case. but And then on the bottom, you have poverty. Like somebody's trying to steal something from somebody. Somebody's time. Children can be involved. They have concern, pathway, and change. Yeah. See, you have a decision to make. You're trying to make a choice, a decision. You're nervous about this. Yeah, you're really stressed. You're really stressed about this decision. I don't know if you've moved recently or if you need to move. And then you have coffin as well. So there's an element here of you. I don't know if this person was just being deceitful or if they actually stole something from you. But again, somebody's blowing something out of proportion. But it's getting to the point where you feel like you have to make a very difficult decision um, in which direction you need to go. There is karma that's involved here because I have the number eight. I have 24, 33, 35, and nine. Six, six, eight, and nine. 12, which is three, so. I think inside you've made a decision on which direction you want to go and, and you're trying to move in that direction. But like I said, somebody's blowing something out of proportion. So it's like it, as much as you're trying to walk away from it, you can't. Also, somebody here could be really judging you off your past and like not letting something go and you're no longer that, that person anymore. Yeah, see, three of wands. That's what I was thinking of when I said three. All right, you have change. You're moving. You want to get out of out of this situation. Clarify, please. What's the current energy surrounding Libra? The Hierophant. Okay, Taurus energy. Higher wisdom, higher knowledge. You may be seeking guidance and counsel from someone else. 
going to somebody for advice. You're trying to understand something. <clears throat> What's coming towards Libra, please? You have the King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Okay, this could also have something to do with money. Like I said, we have Thief here. How do you view this person or situation? Five of Pentacles. For you, it's a lost cause. I think you also view this person or the situation as empty. It's missing some. It's lacking something. Maybe this person ghosted you. What is the intention of this other person or the intention of this situation for Libra's life? The Two of Pentacles. This person is confused or whoever you're with, Three of Swords, I mean, there may have been some type of betrayal here. Yeah, Ten of Swords. There's a deep betrayal. I feel like somebody's temper gets the best of them here too. But there's some. There is this Three of Swords energy. Yeah. So I feel like a lot of loss, a lot of sorrow, a lot of pain was kind of connected with this situation. What's the outcome? You have to make a difficult decision. And you feel like you're walking. It's really interesting. And wow, Seven of Swords. So there's definitely, and then the Four of Swords. So there's definitely something going on. Like somebody's lying. There's manipulation. There's something that's sneaky here. There's a truth. And again, you're tired of it. This Four of Swords. Here you are with the Queen of Swords, Libra. I feel like you're just trying to turn your back on the bullshit. You don't want to argue. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to, like, you know what I'm saying? For you, the win is peace of mind. Somebody's blowing something out of proportion. That's really what it is. Clarify the hierophant, please. Or that's what it feels like. Because I feel like you, like I said, you've, you've already tried to walk away and just let it go. Why is the hierophant here, please? Three of Pentacles. So some of you may move for work, okay? Or you're you're gathering a new group of people and new new teammates, new friends. There's new things that you're you're joining, new things that you're getting involved in because you're leaving something in the past. Um, and I feel like though for some of you, you may have really tried to work on whatever this was. Some of you may have just like joined new spiritual groups or something like that. Yeah, Seven of Cups. You're searching, oh, I see what this is. The devil. I feel like you tried to help somebody for a really long time, try to like better themselves or find themselves or whatever it was that you were trying to do. And now you're kind of in this space because the devil is here. You're in this space now where maybe you've, finally figured out and understood like it was all an illusion because this person was operating from a space of darkness whether they know, know it or not Libra it was like this was something that was done it was whatever it was it was done with the devil it was done in darkness and so the only way to get through that is to close it out and end it it's a karmic cycle and it may have been um, tied into some type of commitment or contract that you went into with somebody. It could even be money. It could be a relationship. I just say money because I see so much pentacles here. But this was an investment that you went into with somebody. And they, they, <laughs> I feel like this person lied about the, t the type, the, the effort that they were willing to put into it. Like this person painted a, a really good illusion And I think sometimes you're trying to figure out like, what did I just participate in? Okay. What's coming towards you is this King of Pentacles. What comes with this King of Pentacles? I don't know if somebody's gonna be, ooh, somebody's stuck. Somebody's facing financial difficulties. Somebody may come to you for some, ask you for some money here, thief. Somebody might go to jail over stealing something or some type of money. 
money problem. Somebody's led by evil. Money is the root of Somebody's literally led by money. Like the, the greed inside of them is so deep. Five of swords. Somebody could have been robbing somebody. That's what I'm seeing right now. Like they stole money. Maybe they're already in jail, but there's something here that took place. Yeah, there's a lot of arguments, a lot of dispute over this investment, over this money. And I, maybe this person is trying to like trap you. This person might try to play victim or intimidate you because there's a lot of hostility arguments. What's coming towards you? This person, I feel like just wants to deflect. Yeah, they want to deflect from the truth. Ooh, look at this. King of Pentacles down. What happened? So somebody, like, like I said, somebody's making something bigger than it needs to be. You're ready to just like lay it to rest. Let's leave it alone. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Because it was a loss. No matter what it was, you took a loss. Because you you view it as the five of pentacles. And this was a loss. And it's really kind of kept you up in your head space. A lot. Because you were operating from a different... Um, a different a different level you were operating from a different space libra than this person was i i feel like you were sincere or loyal in this situation that's coming up whatever however you know you resonate with it but there's this person's coming in a little bit aggressive over the truth here because they're exhausted they've played the victim far too long Now you're gonna have to make a decision. Somebody stole something and they're it's not it's not going good. This could be an over money. Maybe they stole money from you and you're asking for it back, and this person's trying to play victim, whatever it is. Why is the five of pentacles here? The eight of cups. You're like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. There's a lot of abandonment wounds here. Like somebody just upped and walked away from something that I feel you guys were supposed to be working on. Ada, you're not going to do this now to, to get out. He just meowed at the reading before you to come in. That's my kitten. Mellow, chill out. He's not so mellow. My daughter named him Mellow and he's not. All right, so five of pentacles, eight of cups, temperance, and the four of swords. Look. Although you took a loss, Libra, you're okay with walking away because you know what's gonna come from this, okay? Some of you may be, look at the picture on here, some of you may be um, getting facials done or like really taking care of yourself. Do not go in the drawers, Mellow, okay? Spa day, whatever it is, okay? Maybe you work in this field, but it's like, you're okay with walking away from something because it wasn't fulfilling you. Yes, it was still a loss because maybe you were invested in it and you were sincere, but better days are coming. I think what you've been working towards and what you've been trying to manifest is going to finally be able to come through. You just need to be patient. Like I said, you're like, I just want peace. I'm not trying to go through all of this. Like, I don't want to deal with all of this. I don't want to, you're trying to let something go. And I feel like somebody's trying to hold on to it. The intentions are the two of pentacles. Why? This situation is, is not grounded. It's not stable. It's, it's unbalanced, right? Because it's difficult to make a decision. And I also feel like somebody here juggles too much. Clarify, please, the Two of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Lovers. Yeah, there's been a lot of back and forth in a particular situation here. And I feel like this particular lesson, this was a karmic lesson in love. That's why you have the lovers and the wheel of fortune. It was a karmic lesson in love. Um, and I feel like number one, it exhausted you. It made you question a lot about yourself, 
okay? So remember, Libra, that love doesn't have to be a relationship. It can be. It can be family. It can be friends. It can be whatever. Love is love. This is something that I feel almost kind of took you out at some, some point in terms of energy, right? And there was a lot of... Why do I feel like somebody was like walking on eggshells here? And you kept, you kept getting up, you kept getting up because this was stressful, but you almost felt like somebody kept putting you through something over and over and over, but you kept being resilient. You kept persevering. And I'm almost, I'm getting this energy that the purpose of this lesson for you, Libra, was to show you, was to have you stop questioning yourself really because i think sometimes you get into an energy a space of being like apathetic and discontent with your own self because of how much you give to others or gave to this situation and it wasn't you it was this particular person it was their own energy that made you feel that way and so now you're realizing like oh no I don't actually need this type of energy around you because whatever it was, this person stole something or they're trying to take something from you. The outcome is the Seven of Swords. Plan your move silently. Whatever you're doing, do it silently. Clarify, please. The Two of Pentacles. Make your decisions and your choices silently. Strength. You're going to have to make a really difficult decision. Yeah, justice in the world. And it's it has to do with choosing yourself. It has to do with closing out certain cycles, okay? Some of you could be pregnant because the Empress card was there, so there could be a pregnancy here. But I have to be honest, it's either the end of someone's pregnancy, like they're giving birth, or maybe there's somebody who experiences um, a, a miscarriage with the world and Empress. And so I do apologize if that's you because it, it looks like something coming to an end. But that can also represent something being born. So please just take it how it resonates. And if it doesn't, leave it. It's not for you. Yeah, the world. Something is coming to an end, though. There's something hidden with the high priestess. Again, with the seven of swords. I, I almost feel like this is you treating people how they treat, treated you. If somebody had ghosted you or just disappeared on you, I feel like that's what you're about to do now to people. And it takes a lot of strength for you, for you to do this. Yeah, judgment, the empress, justice. you're you're stepping into your power you've completed a cycle that was meant to really and truly show you how strong you are and what you can come out of i feel like this particular situation libra the seven of swords it was there to to kind of teach you how to discern the unknown in people's intentions and truths right like now you can look out for this in the future because I, I i almost feel like this was somebody that you really trusted and the secret that you're learning, the secret that you're learning about them, it's really, it, it was it was shocking, whatever it was. Three of swords, three of cups, three of pentacles. I mean, there could have been a third party, but there was definitely deceit. And like I said, this person stole something or was doing something sneaky behind your back. And as much as it's a headache, you're ready to move on. You just want it to be over. All right, Libra, I'm sending you much love.